What is good YouTube? It's your boy Ash Royale back here again with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to edit HLG on Final Cut Pro. So let's get into the video. I need to make a new intro. So if you guys didn't know, HLG, which stands for Hybrid Log Gamma, is a picture profile which has been getting a lot of love lately. Mainly because you get a lot of dynamic range using this picture profile and also it's easier to edit and post and it's easier to expose for than S-Log. With that being said, because I don't want to make this video too long, if you shoot in HLG, I preferably use HLG3, and you import it into Final Cut Pro, the image will actually become very like overexposed and kind of washed out. I don't know why, because if you use Adobe Premiere Pro, if you use the same picture profile and you put the same file into Adobe, it looks like you shot it when you shot it in the camera. But for some reason, when you put into Final Cut Pro, you have to do a little bit of extra steps, and that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys today. Okay, so first things first, you're gonna to wanna to jump into Final Cut Pro, go to your file, import media, find a clip, which is this clip right here. And yes, I recorded this outside. It's basically a tree in front of my crib. Um, the reason I shot this is because there's supposed to be a lot of color in here. Like you see, oh, this is green. Um, this tree is gonna be black. This is gonna be like reddish orange with the brown, green right here, green right here, and then just the rock. So it's supposed to be a lot of color going on in here, but as you can see from the preview, everything is just washed out. So that's what we're fixing today. Um, a little tip when you're gonna edit 4K footage is leave your files in place and create proxy media. Um, basically, this makes it easier for the computer to edit. Um, I'm gonna make a video about this going into detail, but for now, just little tip. So once you import your clip, so once you're done importing your clip, drag your clip down to your timeline. Um, I'm just gonna play like the first five seconds of this. Um, as you can see, let's stop right here. Uh, like you see right here, this is supposed to be like reddish orange, uh, the greens and the black in the street, but it's all washed out. Um, I don't know why Final Cut does this, but it's just a little setting that you have to tweak and you get all your color back. So what you're gonna wanna do is click on your clip, go to your information tab, go to color space override and go to rep 2020 and instantly all your color comes back. So this is how it was shot out of camera. Let's try to get like right here where it's not too overly exposed. So. All your colors in here, you know, the reddish orange, the greens, the blacks, well, the shadow and everything. But if you take it off, you see what I'm talking about? It just looks very ugly. So I just wanted to show you guys this because when I was recording, I forgot actually what I was recording and I put it in the final cut, I got real upset because I was like, what the hell is going on with my camera? And it wasn't the camera, it was just final cut itself. So if you have any footage that you record in um, HLG, and you put it in the final cut and you think you know you exposed your footage wrong or anything you didn't you just need to follow the simple steps which is you know click on your clip go to information tab color space override rec 2020 and what you shot should be recovered so i hope this video helped you guys with your editing process using hlg on final cut pro if the video did help i'd greatly appreciate it if you smack the hell out that like button if you're really into that drop a like down below telling me if it worked for you guys or if there's an easier way to do this and last but not least subscribe if you're new and until then see you guys in the next video it's your boy ashley royale and i'm signing out peace i have an outro but i don't have an intro whatever